This video is about what it's gonna take to air condition my van. Cloudy outside today. Very cloudy. I haven't turned on the air conditioner yet. 73 degrees, 1250 watts out there. And right now I'm getting 255 watts on a cloudy day. No hot water heater. It's nice to have hot water, but not necessary. Can I charge my battery by the end of the day? Already at 90%. Well insulated with Havoc wool and closed cell foam. I plan to make a series of videos as I buy more solar panels, temperature, humidity changes. See if it's even possible to live out of the van using only renewable energy solar panels. 525 watts, 1249, middle of April. 650 watts up top. Am I getting more because I'm up in Mammoth, 9,000 feet? It does have a gasoline engine. I'm mostly gonna be staying in Southern California. I like to explore, but I wanna spend as much time as possible in a place so I can take it all in. Boiler alert, what you'll see in this video is up until June, when the temperatures were mild, I was able to produce enough electricity and you'll see how many panels it took in different elevations and temperatures. Everyday hiking. 483 watts at 4,000 feet. 2 p.m. I want to talk about what it takes to air condition 1250 watts of panels and I'm gonna buy more. The hottest it got was 75 degrees. I was able to have hot water and air conditioning all day with 850 watts. A Mydea air conditioner, inverter AC that hardly takes any power. Humidity, different temperature. We'll see how many panels it takes. I can park in the shade, lay bold up panels away from the van in the sun. I'll show you something in the van. On the Renergy inverter, how much power you're drawing. Click this button. Up. One more time. That's how many watts the air conditioner is taking right now. 400 watts to run an air conditioner. It's in the low 70s outside. In here, it was freezing. So cold. Google. 73 degrees. Setting the air conditioner. 73 degrees. Turned off after I did taking no power. I'm still at 100%. And I have hot water. It's I can do all those things. But what's going to happen when it's 80 out? 90, 100. How much solar do I have to buy? Battery is at 78.9. It's noon. 80.6% now. At 80%, I will get through a couple of days easy. Can we make the charge go up while we're air conditioning? Hottest day of the year yet. It's gonna be 90. But so far today, it's only 72. I can't just open the door and get fresh air. I wanna get work done today. I'll be hearing that all day. Gardeners. <clears throat> That's not gonna work. I'm gonna kick on the air conditioner. We should be charging right now. It's our only chance. If the charge is going down, I'm gonna add a panel until the charge is going up. Beginning of May. At noon, 12.30, 519 watts. The up button, I'm gonna hit it one more time. Now it says W, taking three over 300 watts. Now it's going down, it works really good. The juice is going up with the air conditioner on, so I'm gonna put one of these away. Hey dude, every day. Before 50 and we're losing the sun. The air conditioner only taking 160 watts. Yeah, that works. So I can watch TV, but if I kick on the computer, suddenly I'm going down. At 8.30 in the morning, we are already charging. Look at that propane detector go up. Wasn't even a loud one or a smelly one. I mean, some better ventilation. This is crazy. There's enough ventilation that the propane detector goes off. Stealth mode, you don't want to do that. Don't fart, I guess. You get these panels deployed. Battery is at 75%. Beware of El Pollo Loco. Chicken Tinga Burrito. 473 watts. Both panels deployed and the 550 on top still haven't hit 660 last panel 100 watts get get all 1250 out there we're maxed out now 660 i don't want to be outside flies come in sound like i was saying before sometimes we're parked where it's quiet i'll put up a screen save power maybe even park in the shade i was about to turn on the ac but i haven't made coffee yet i can handle making hot water having the ac running on a typical day you don't want to load your power system like that a max amount of current from your battery i'm gonna heat up some water real quick and then i'm gonna kick on the ac 
energy inverter triangle kind of thing. It tells you how much load you're producing next to the little fluorescent light bulb looking thing. That's about halfway up. If I kick down the AC, that thing's gonna max out all the way, and I don't really want that. It's not good for the battery. Google, turn on air conditioner. Turn the air conditioner off. That air conditioner's hardly taking any power. Google, make air conditioner 69 degrees. I'm getting 660. That's the most my MPP does. I gotta make sure I'm, I'm getting all. I need another MPPT. The only thing running through this inverter, only the air conditioner. Over 400 watts, 500 watts. See how it looks at the end of the day. It does help to not wear clothes. Why use more air conditioner than you have to? Take your clothes off. Since I turned on the computer, it's been stuck at 76.7 charge. Why did I say basically? I don't know. 70 degrees, thermometer says. Definitely feel the warmth where the sunroof cover is. It's 81. 108.6 is 93.5. Bottom is 78. Google, what's the temperature in Northridge? 88 degrees. Oh, but the humidity. Maybe you'd like to go swimming. What's the humidity in Northridge? 22%. Up here it's 80 something. It helps to put a fan on. I'm only getting 620 watts all the panels at 3 p.m. It's a 90 degree day. Not in that Goldilocks temperature for the panels. It's because it's hot out, the panels are putting out less power. Normally I'd be getting easily 660 watts. I'm only getting 621. What's the temperature in Northridge? 92 degrees. I'll put them at a 45 degree angle so that the wind can get underneath them. See if this helps. Not a chemtrail anywhere. Fan that was just blowing on me, blowing on the MPPT. It was just over temperature. Been air conditioning this van all day. I've been on the computer. Getting 518 watts, 445 PM. Watch the temperature of the MPPT. If it gets too hot, red light's gonna start double blinking. The smaller screen, 10th of what the bigger screen takes. Almost always when I'm in the van, I have the screen on. It doesn't seem to affect my battery. So little power. The air conditioner is on right now. Isn't that crazy how, how, how quiet it is? But this little screen takes almost no power. So I can always use that anytime and without even thinking about it. Every day Hey, there's a point I turn off the air conditioner when you most need it is when you have a lot of sun. Vegas I'm gonna want to run the AC at night and during the day 24 hours do I need more panels yes more batteries I don't know eight kilowatt hours get me through 24 hours the nighttime temperatures have been very cold in the 50s so that's really helping all these things are gonna matter and that's why we got to keep making these videos what it's gonna take to air condition a van we're still in the Sun I just woke up 68% battery going up 1030. All 1250 watts of panels are plugged in. I'm getting 578 at 1039 in the morning. Higher elevation at the hot spring. I was getting way more power. Put the fan in place as soon as I got up. I stay cool before I turn on the air conditioner. A vent fan underneath, point it where I want. Head or feet. Where I am is nice and cool, even though the top of the van is warm. We are almost maxed out. 660 watts. 1112. Chemtrails. Blinking red. I am at 660. So let me try unplugging a panel. Now it's not blinking. And I'm getting 625 watts. Double blinking may not be that big of a deal. It says on the chart, overcurrent. It's clearly charging even when it's overcurrent. It is so hot. I'm naked. I'm hot. I gotta turn on the air conditioner. Well, turn on. Turning the air conditioner off. I'm only gonna kill the other vent fan if the air coming in is hot. It's good to get fresh air. I have the AC blocked. Power the AC is used. Up arrow twice. Looks like about 300 watts. I'm starting to think about putting my shirt back on. It makes me cold. There's a super cold draft right on. Running the fan over the MPPT kept it at 120 degrees. You Europeans, 49 degrees. This fan is making a huge difference. Cloudy day, only getting about 120 watts. The sun just came out. 455 watts out of my 550 watt array. So the sun's straight above. Really want to get your panels out there before noon, don't you? 550 watts of thin film producing 450 watts. 212 now, and the battery's going down. 545 watts. AC is using something under 500 watts. It'd be so much better if I had panels with an air gap. I'm trying to be stealth. 94 degree day. 313 watts out of my 550 watts. I'm about to lay out my panels. 430 watts. Let's put another panel out. 539. The door closed. It's bearable. Head up at the ceiling. Not so nice. Over here, oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Air conditioner was just up to 600 watts. The sun's going over there. Park in the shade right there. Google, 
turn on air conditioner. Turning here. I'm gonna be in the van going to dinner. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Let this thing charge up. I'm feeling good. It's definitely hot. But it helps to not be in the sun. 420 watts. 650 watts of panels up there. June peak sun. By the time June came around, the only place I could really sustain enough power for air conditioning and hot showers and all the things I wanted to do was to spend my time at the beach in Malibu where the temperatures are mild and you get maximum sun on your panels. Since the sun sets in the west, you can point the panels right at the sun all the way until it's gone. If you're interested in information that could make your nomadic lifestyle a whole lot easier, please subscribe watch my videos. Or if you just want to brainstorm what's possible, if you got any ideas, put them in the comments.